Rick Stepney. Everybody on the line right now, you're hearing the voice of Denise Donatelli from her album Soul Shadows, a track called Soul. That is the title track. And uh, we have the lovely Denise Donatelli on the line as we speak. And I've never seen our engineer Tomas more excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's like, well, listen, out. I can understand why. What a voice! Absolutely, she, fabulous. Hey, hey Denise, Denise, are you there? If she is, the crowd just knocked her out. Denise, okay. you there, sweetie? There she is. I think she missed that whole that great introduction. So let me do it again. I've never seen our engineer <laughs> Tomas so excited. He's so excited he forgot to switch the phones over. Denise, how you doing? Oh, Larry, I'm great. How are you doing? No, that's Eric uh, Eric Hines. This is Larry. Oh, hi, Larry. I'm fine, love. And uh, Nancy, oh, to me, you? Nancy's next to me. Hi, Denise. And I love, you. I love, love, love your voice. It's beautiful. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, you're Thank very you. welcome. I would love to hear that. Yeah. I, under I, I, I understand I you're um, you're going to be appearing tonight. I want to get this in a few times. Tonight well, at Vitello's? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I, I unfortunately am a little bit under the weather, so I cannot oh, make it. But tomorrow oh, I will honey. be there. Yeah. Oh, have you got oh. that nasty cold? Um, yeah. Oh, I'm time. so sorry. But hopefully that, that's it's a 24-hour thing, and then, you know, I'll be okay for tomorrow. Yeah. That, that's a singer's biggest scourge, that and desert throat. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Well, hey, well Denise, even, even a, a, a talk show host, actor. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's true. That's true. I hate to say this, but <laughs> I've had many colds, and they just look at you and say, tough. Get back to work. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Take I some know. cough stuff and keep on trucking. Hey, listen, I, I want to talk to you a minute about growing up in Allentown, which I know very well. You do? Yeah, you bet. I spent a lot of time there, and I have friends there, and uh, I think the whole town's all owned by the Walson family, who owns um, Service, Service Electric, Electric. Uh, Company. Oh. But, uh, it's, yeah, the gas station they own. But anyway, it's, a, it's, wow. a, it's really a neat, neat suburb of um, Pennsylvania, and... Um, at Christmas, at this time of the year, it's awesome. I mean, I can oh, visualize it, it. Yeah, it's really cool. Well, I had the opportunity to get back there because I hadn't been back to Allentown. It must have been about, ooh, 20 years. Wow. So. wow. Yeah, it was a long time. Um, because I moved from Allentown to Atlanta, and I lived in Atlanta for 15 years and then moved out to L.A. So it's it's been a while since I've been back. Um, my family's from New York, though, and uh, my father hated the city and, and came out to Allentown, built a house in the country and uh, in the west end of Allentown. And, uh, but anyhow, I went back there for Kutztown University's, um, they did a, a Christmas show, and uh, I, was, I, was the, um, I was the guest, and I had forgotten how beautiful these stone farmhouses are. We don't see this out here. No, wow. they're magnificent, aren't they? They are magnificent. You know, I, I, when you grow up with them, you, you just go, oh, yeah, you know, you don't even <laughs> pay any attention. Yeah. But when you go back after a certain number of years and you see how, how beautiful um, they're just. So I, I had a love affair. I was taking my iPhone and I was taking pictures of, of all the farmhouses and the farms and... It was uh, 
It was lovely. Bethlehem is a beautiful city this time of year. Well, that's quite a change from Allentown to uh, Georgia. Yeah, yes, it really was. It was kind of a kind of a culture shock. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you go out there to work, or was it just a change? No, of I was I was married at the time. Uh huh. And he had this job offer, and that's where we went. Wow. Oh, well, that makes oh. sense. Well, you yeah. could have been in Keokuk, Iowa. I mean, that's a. That's well, a, it can always be worse. Yeah, you that, know? Atlanta's neat. So yeah, it now, really is. Now it's you're very li- cool. now you're living in Los Angeles. Right. So where did you get your bones, love? Where did you start off? When did you say, hey, I want to get up on the stage and sing and, and really captivate the audience? Oh, my goodness. I, I was Well, I was let's go back. pushed think, and prodded. <laughs> well, no, but think about it. I mean, there had to be a time at some yeah. point that you wanted to, I mean, you probably sang when you were a little girl. Well, and, she played the piano on it. I did, yeah. yes. I was trained classically. Wow. As a matter of fact, I went, uh, and my older sister did as well, and uh, we studied with, Ralph Kemmerer, who at the time, I believe, uh, Keith Jarrett took some lessons from him. But I studied lessons for about 14. I studied classical piano for 14 years. Wow. And well into high school. And I was never really, and I started when I was three. So it was just like, like it was something that I, I don't really remember saying, well, this is what I want to do. And it was just automatically, uh, my, my mother said, you're going to do this because you have some talent. Apparently, she said that when I was three, I went to the piano and I played uh, Silent Night by ear. Wow. So your parents so were not... Out melodies. So your parents were not uh, musical then. You just had this gift. Well, they were. Um, if we go way back, my mother, my, my uncles used to sneak her out of the house in New York Uh-oh. because my grandfather would be a... Oh, they would be in such trouble if he found out that my mother was, was singing. He just did not want her to sing. I mean, back then, ah. in those years. Uh, and my father always played piano by ear. The ah. two of them loved music. But by trade, he was a clothing manufacturer. That's the move to Allentown. Ah, well, that makes sense. Yeah. So you were a well-dressed apprentice playing the piano. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's cool. But... but <laughs> What um, what was the first gig? Do you remember your first job? Well, the first the first gig. Well, I was living in Atlanta. I didn't start singing. I I gave up piano, and uh, I went to college. And then uh, I I left college out of uh, after a year. And then I got married, and we had children right away. And um, it wasn't until after the move to Atlanta. And the boys were were older. That I I decided to to seriously think about doing this, and it happened with uh, I met one of the, a pianist in Atlanta, and he um, he heard me sing, and he said, "Come on," he said, "You know, we're going to a jazz jam. You're going to get up there. You're going to sing," and Russell Malone was there at the time. They they did this jazz jam in in Atlanta every every Tuesday night. And I was petrified. I, I that was the only thing that really kept me from from getting up. On you know, this, this sounds a lot like Nat King Cole. Nat King Cole had the same same story. Hey, Denise, really? hang in there. We're going to go to a real quick break. We come back. We want to hear more from this great story. Okay? Cool. Okay. Yeah, stand by. Hang, hang with us, baby. I will. Guys, stick around. We'll be back with more of the great Denise Donatelli right here on the PM Show with Larry and Nancy Minetti. We'll be back right after this.